a look in our Suffolk barn. This is what it's like right before feeding. Very noisy because the sheep all know that they're going to be fed their grain. So this coverall is now full and we'll be moving on to the next coverall with uh, the next groups of lambs and mums. So I'll bring you around pen to pen to show you what they're like. We move it in a circuit. So it's divided into quarters with 30 ewes and their lambs per This first one, which is actually the last one to get filled up. The last lambs got put in here yesterday. So this group is anywhere from a couple of days to a week old. This is what the creep area looks like in each quarter. We always have free choice, good quality hay for the lambs to eat. And this is a young group, so we just put a little bit of creep feed, which is a mix of that we make ourselves with our own cracked corn, barley, um, and soybeans. And we top dress it with soybean meal to get the lambs interested. So these little guys would be little guy there he just came in a couple of days ago so he's two days old the other guy's probably a week Suffolk's are fast growers so each area has a creek pen moms eat grain in the central trough underneath the trough is a gap with a board that divides to the other pen. A lot of times lambs will sleep under there to stay warm and they go in there um, if the moms are running to get grain or something they can dash in there and not get tramped. And uh, them going under there has saved a lot of broken legs and stepped on lambs. So it was a benefit we didn't know would be there but uh, it's great and it gives extra space for the lambs too makes the pens actually bigger than they are uh, this barn is 50 feet by 140 each pen has a salt mineral holder and we just uh, have a little rod in there to help knock it down but it keeps the salt mineral fresh doesn't get dirty. Sometimes it gets uh, a little sticky, but it's pretty good. And each pen has a drinker, an automatic drinker, which we try to keep clean because the birds do their poops in there. So I just scoop it out if I'm walking by. Fresh water is important. That's a little guy that came over yesterday. There's his brother. His mom's probably at the trough. Oh, this is the next pen. Pen number two. So these guys would be about one to two weeks old. And same thing, mineral fe feeder, water drinker, happy lambs, creep pen. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but Suffolk's grow about a pound a day sometimes more and you can really tell a difference in size as you go pen to pen so these guys would be two to three weeks old and these guys are really showing the size differences as I climb over the gate here Whew. okay so 
these guys are growing a lot faster now because uh, they're wet, well on their way to the creek. Here's a girl that's a camel girl that everyone saw. She's a little beauty. She came out of my Suffolk cross sheep that uh, I took to the fairs and she did good and I'm thinking if it's a good year and COVID goes away, she could be going to the fairs too. So these guys are all getting pretty meaty, hunky. It's all about the food now. Hey, sweetheart. Are you a pretty girl? Hello. We try to win over all our sheep because these are a big breed of sheep and I'm not a big person. Arnie's a big person, but I'm not. And I work with these sheep extensively and when they have troubles or I want to work, do something with them, give them shots, deworming, lambing difficulties, I want them to trust me and I want them to be calm. And uh, we find that just a little bit of handling and they're, they're really nice animals to work with. So, this is the last pen we're going into now. And these guys are a month old. A couple of odd balls went a little bit earlier. Um, but in general, they're around a month old in here. And this pen got the benefit of the big play area here, which is a great hit. It may seem silly to put a play area for the lambs, but it they spend hours on this thing playing and jumping around, which builds muscle, keeps them in good shape, um, makes them hungrier. They want to eat more because they're exercising. So uh, as well as being fun, it's also, um, it also helps to make healthy, muscular lambs for both breeding stock, which is what we really want to do, and for meat animals. And at our, see, you can see in this pen, the lambs are even, they have a creep area over here, where there's a whole bunch of them there. But a lot of them, they want to be grown up and eat with their moms. So you can see there's a bunch in there eating at the hay with their moms. This guy wants to nurse still, so he's going to sneak in there. Whether that's his mom or someone else, who knows, but he's getting his fair share. We uh, try to look at confirmation heavily in this these sheep. So we're looking that they're good on their feet, good backs, and wide all the way through. Fast growers. And long. We have, I think, quite long sheep. The money's in the meat, so you gotta have uh, wide sheep. You gotta have long sheep, high capacity ewes, which are long and wide, can support uh, at good, good multiple lambs. You see that mom? She's her lamb is almost as big as she is. But we don't want difficulties in lambing. And we, these are big lambs, so you need a big bodied ewe that can look after those lambs, pop them out with no problems. And here they are. We haven't weighed them, but jeez. Some of these guys are probably 80 pounds. See the good length on them. They should be uh, the same width from the back to the front, and you can see that in these lambs. You want to be calling for that that narrow front shoulder. Whereas this one, not liking this one as much. She's a little choky on the front end. But all these guys are really nice. Maybe that 
that one there, not liking that one too much. But on the whole, we're quite happy with this group. And that's the Suffolk Barn. Next week, we've got another 100 to lamb. So they'll be going into the next coverall, and we'll be starting the same thing there.